I believe the game of basketball serves as a metaphor for my daily life. Why do I say that? Well, because in the game of life, there are peaks and valleys to everything. I've learned this both on and off the hardwood. When I get to the gymnasium and I hear that ball bounce, those shoes squeak, and a few whistles whistle, all normalcy returns to my life. My high school years were far from a good time. Never being the fastest, smartest, strongest, or most popular kid in those days made high school a living, breathing cesspool for me. There were many moments where I felt left out, ostracized, and depressed about my place in the hierarchy of high school celebrity. To cope with these feelings, I would often sneak off, away from everyone else, and hoop in the gym whenever I could get my hands on one of those round orange spheres in a basket. Not being a great shooter, the ball would frequently ricochet off the rim in all directions, but I could not have cared less. The ball, the hoop, and I were enjoying each other's company. At least that's how I interpreted it. There's something about basketball that's unlike any other sport. To many who watch, it might seem like the players are on the brink of anarchy with how fast the athletes move these days. Yet there's a structure to it. There's that sweet taste of victory for those who win, and that bitter taste for those who lose. But you know something? That's life in its purest form. We all understand that some battles we undertake will generate more adversity than others. If that wasn't the case, then our lives would be a cakewalk. I've experienced disappointment, sadness, and losing. It's not fun. But I've also felt the sensation of victory, joy, and pride, too. No matter if the teams I played on were up 20 or down by 20, the game of basketball taught me to never be negative. To command respect on the court as a point guard, like I was, it was imperative for me to engage, uplift, and lead my teammates. That's where respect comes from. If I hadn't come to appreciate basketball for what it means to me now, I might still be that high school kid who felt neglected not so long ago. The real test of a person's mettle is the question of whether you will be that same person when the real world is relentless and circling you from all directions. Thanks to that round orange orb and that hoop with white dreadlocks, I've learned to overcome trials and tribulations that stand in my way. Whether life wants to elevate or tear me down, my passion never wavers. The game of hoops taught me that. This, I believe.